¿Qué onda? This is Hector El Chido Canales bringing you another blast from the past. Now, before we get to the match, I want to give you a little background info on it so that hopefully, as you watch it, you can enjoy it just that little bit more. The date is November 25th, 2012. I can't recall the reason why, but there were barely any wrestlers in the locker room. This was a rare occasion where wrestlers didn't show up to do their job. Rudy Rogers had shown up trying to get booked. This was his chance because he had never wrestled in front of a live audience before. So in order to extend the card a little, I wrestled twice this night. My first match was against Rudy Rogers. My second was gonna be against Blood Eagle. Check down in the description below to hit that link to the match against Rudy Rogers. Blood Eagle and I, we went mostly on the fly. I think we knew the finish to the match and then everything else was improvised. This was a time when I was on point. I was running on all cylinders where I could wrestle in my sleep. It was a hard hitting match and with Blood Eagle, it was always hard hitting. It was always tough. It was always snug. But I'll tell you this, I never had a bad match with Blood Eagle. Now we did have a minor flub and just watching it back, I love Blood Eagle's reaction to it. The chop spot was one of those spots that I love to do. It was kind of like me hooking up. But Blood Eagle was really chopping the heck out of me. And it really, really hurt. And the toughest part was doing my best to try and no-sell those chops. Please check out Blood Eagle's YouTube channel. This is where I got that match. And if it wasn't for his brother filming these matches, this match would have been lost to the ages. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and subscribe to Blood Eagle's channel and share as any little bit helps. Enjoy. To make some sense as to why I was wrestling twice on this show, we had Blood Eagle attack me from out of the crowd during my match with Rudy Rogers. And this is a major reason why my match with Blood Eagle was all called in the ring, mostly on the fly, because all we had was the ending. We didn't have any time to talk about what we were going to do in the match because Blood Eagle was hanging out in the crowd waiting to jump me during my match with Rudy Rogers. <laughs> 